scalloped potatoes, eh? Eh, <laughs> your scalp is mine. No, please. Not my scalp. Today, I will be reviewing Marie Callender's scalloped potatoes in a creamy cheese sauce with ham. It looks decent. It says meal to share, so I assume this is meant for multiple people. I don't know, maybe I'll save some of it and eat it, uh, eat it later. And I believe a Wesley Gray recommended this. So, uh, yeah, I got it. Uh, I think there was somebody else, I think it was like Honey or something, recommended a tortellini spinach thing. But I couldn't find that one, but I could find this. So I'll maybe do the other one if I can find it. So, look on the back here, we've got the instructions and the nutrition. So, uh, looking at the nutrition, the three servings per container, so this has three servings. Serving size is one cup, calories are 340, total fat 24%. Saturated fat, 50%, probably a little fatty. Cholesterol is 25%. Sodium is 43%. Carbs in 9, fibers 11, added sugar 1%, and 27% for the protein. So it's got a little bit of protein in here. Quite high on the fat and quite high on the sodium. Especially true if you just eat the whole thing at once, which maybe I shouldn't do. Maybe I shouldn't eat all of it at once just maybe a third of it. Fatty and salty. I was warned though, I was forewarned that this probably wasn't that healthy. Looks good though, so we're gonna try it anyway. And then the instructions which again are on the back. Microwave oven, cook only one at a time. How would you fit multiple of these in a microwave on an uh, oven? Whatever. Peel back corner of film to vent. Cook on high for eight minutes. Remove film color that cover. Cook an additional four and a half to six minutes. Uh, let stand five minutes. It's gonna take quite a while. It also says that you can do it in the conventional oven, but not in a toaster oven. Rip to my toaster oven. Yeah, so that's with eight minutes, four to six. So just assuming six, 14 minutes, and then let stand. So it's probably gonna take like 20 minutes to make this, which is a bit long, but eh, I can do it. Let's open her up. All right, this teared beautifully, and by that I mean it really didn't tear at all very well. All right, there we go. Ooh, what is this? This has a lot more, uh, more ham on it than I thought. Look at all that ham, cheese and potatoes. Uh, I have high hopes for this one now. They didn't really uh, skimp out on anything, as far as I can tell here. Looks pretty, pretty all right. Definitely a lot. I don't think this is a one-person single meal. Not for single use only, though. Do not reuse. I guess if I don't eat it all, I'll, I won't be able to heat it up again. I guess I can maybe put it on a plate and heat it up again. Whatever. I'm going to go put this in the microwave. We'll be back when it's done. All right, here we are at the microwave. We got eight minutes to start. So, point of view. You're cooking this and you put it in the microwave and you hit eight, eight, hold on. Okay, so, um, wait a second, this hasn't, ha this hasn't happened before. Is it? Oh, okay, it works now. Oh, I guess, I guess only these you can press and they go fast, whatever. It's going. We've got a, uh, in uh, how many more minutes is it? Uh, four and a half to six minutes with the cover off next. All right, be, be, well, we'll be back for that. All right been eight minutes. So I think this was just remove, uh, it was just remove film cover and then four and a half to six minutes. We'll just do six minutes to be safe. You know what actually, we'll do five. Come on. 
This is uh, inefficient to do single-handed, but I think we've not quite got it. All right, we got it. So, we'll do five minutes, and to prove that typically this thing only takes one button press, there, it was the, the stuff down here, apparently you have to hit that button, whatever. I'll be back in probably 10 minutes, because I think it also said, uh, lit stand for five minutes. All right, I'm back. This is how it turned out. Looks all right, not quite as clean as the box here, but it doesn't look bad. Um, it is a little heavy on the right here. I assume at some point it was the box was probably tilted like that, and so a lot of the uh, potatoes and whatnot shifted over here, probably during, uh, I don't know, at some point while it was being stored or shipped or whatever. Looks okay, there's definitely a lot of food. Smells uh, a little cheesy, maybe slightly a pan. Yeah, let's give her a taste here. This is uh, what we got. Oh! A little hot. Also, I am being a barbarian here and just eating like this. Because I expect to be the only one to have this, but I am not eating all of this at once. Alright, that was pretty good. The little ham pieces are exactly as you would expect. They're kind of very little, uh, sort of thin-ish ham, uh, little, uh, not really diced. Uh, it's hard to get it without the sauce so you can see it. But they're, oh, well... They're just little ham things, um, kind of like, and they, they, they taste pretty much what you would expect for this. It's like you took a, a slice of ham, cut it up into little um, rectangles, or box rectangle things. And they taste pretty much exactly like um, the normal ham you would have for that. Maybe slightly sweet, overall okay. There is sort of a hint of garlic in everything, which is all right. The, the sauce is a little little creamy. Actually, the sauce is a little on the uh, watery side. I tried a little bit more. Let's check to see exactly what it is. It is mozzarella, but it's also got water as the first ingredient here. So that probably explains why it's a little watery. It does have a taste, but it's not the strongest taste. It doesn't overpower everything else. Potatoes are, are, are good too. They're sort of cut into these little slices. Typically, it's not just half of one like this one is, but this sort of uh, size here. And it's, uh, it's pretty good. Uh, it, I think they're scalloped potatoes. I think that's where they get the, the scallops from. Uh, I, I think there's also sort of a, a slight smoky taste specifically to the meat. There definitely is. Slight smoky. The meat is just straight up uh, diced ham, I'm pretty sure. Tastes a little smoky, decent flavor, and in terms of texture, it is diced, so it's a little thicker than like lunch meat. So it's got a bit of a slightly chewy maybe, but overall, I, not, not really that chewy. It's, it's pretty much just standard diced ham, what you'd expect from pretty much everything else that has diced ham. Uh, I think the, the cheese is definitely a little watery. The whole thing is kind of, kind of does feel hydrated. Like the, uh, the potatoes aren't, uh, I guess they're a little firm, but they're not, um, I don't, how do I describe this? I, I think the, the sauce sort of mixes with the potatoes pretty well. And while the potatoes are cut up and they're, they're more, more firm than like something like mashed potatoes, it isn't like a baked potato at all. Uh, I mean, maybe it's kind of like it if you cut it into to small slices. But it's kind of, kind of sort of a, in an in-between. Pretty decent. Sometimes you get patches where it is really hot. I think biting into some of the potatoes and uh, some of the, um, the sauce stores it. Yeah, overall, 
I'd say this is quite good. It's also quite a lot. You know what? I'll give it I'll give it an eight and a half out of ten. I quite like it. The the ham is like I said before, just straight up diced ham. It's got a little smoky flavor to it. But otherwise it's just kind of normal diced ham. Tastes like ham. It's just ham. The the sauce is uh, pretty watery for, for what it is, and it's not, I think with that, the, the cheese is kind of diluted. It's not the strongest cheese sauce out there, uh, but you still get a little bit of that, that Parmesan taste. Also, with it being more watery, it, it really does cover everything. The only thing that doesn't necessarily have it is if you get uh, some potatoes that are really like stuck close together. They'll end up being maybe a little bit drier and sort of taste more like a plain mashed potato than the more, um, I don't know how to describe it, but the other one, the, uh, the more hydrated scalloped potatoes, I guess. I guess when they, when the potatoes are stacked like that and sort of stuck together and you don't really get the sauce mixed in, mixed in, it tastes more like just pure, uh, potato, not mashed potato with like any, uh, where they've got like added uh, butter or anything else and just sort of pure potato with the sauce and everything in it I think it tastes better than just the sort of pure potato taste. Uh, the potatoes, uh, some of them definitely as well de store a lot more heat and they also have, uh, it's sort of variable whether or not they're smooth to chew through or they've got a little bit of uh, I don't know, not really crunch. It's uh, more the raw potato uh, sort of texture to them compared to uh, some of the more thin slices that are covered in, uh, in the cheese sauce that sort of uh, end up feeling uh, more smooth and almost, I guess, just closer to mashed potatoes, even though they, they really aren't. Uh, and there, there's still like whatever this green stuff is on top. I'm going to check. Uh, I think there's also definitely a garlic flavor going on. Hold on, maybe I'm blind. I don't really see anything that should be that here. Look through it. Well, it contains chicken flavor. Interesting. I'm not sure why it needs chicken flavor. Huh. I don't, uh, I don't actually see garlic or whatever the green stuff is on top. Oh well, I'll, I'll edit in what I think it is, or if I can figure out what it is. Anyway, yeah, overall, I think this is, uh, this is pretty good. It's probably, I don't remember what the cost was, but probably a little bit more expensive for a microwave meal. It's also a lot more <laughs> than you really need for a microwave meal. But overall, pretty good. Eight and a half out of ten. I like it. Thank you for watching. Welcome to the outro, my dudes. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. The vast majority of my viewers are unsubscribed, so it would be cool if you subscribed. So in this outro, I want to show you guys a sketchy website that I found while trying to Google stuff about my graphics card. For context, my friend got a new graphics card, and I wanted to see uh, how out of date mine is. So I have a 980 Ti, and last night when I googled 980 Ti, this was the first website I got. What is this? What are they? It's like reviews. Did they just like grab images from random reviews? Like what? What do you mean? What do I want to buy? Like we got this Fortnite one here. 76 euros. Like, this had to have been, t that's totally a YouTube uh, watermark. This is totally taken from some dude's YouTube channel. It's like a thumbnail or something. Like, what even, what is this? Um, this just a bunch of graphics card reviews listed as, uh, like, products. And to make it weirder, Everything else here is shoes. Like if I go go to the, the home page here, um just just shoes. Just random shoes. Uh I don't really understand what's going on here. 
uh, the about us is kind of weird although actually the about us i think sort of shows what it is it's got our store here which i think means that they took some template put it up and then forgot about it i don't know how they ended up with a mixture of shoes and like random screenshots from graphics card reviews but apparently uh they did the uh the link here as well if you paste it somewhere it's really uh it's got this weird thing that it says uh about buying the domain name but a completely different domain uh and then over here if we go to like sale shape It says this website is uh, under construction. And then if you go down here to this address, it seems to not actually lead anywhere. I don't think it's Ace Hardware. It's not the library and it's not the court reporter. Uh, I don't can't exactly see line up this street with anything or think it's worth doing that for the outro. But yeah, I, I'm guessing maybe what this is, is somebody had a site at some point or they were using this to test setting up a site and then they just left it. And then somehow, or last night at least, this stupid review or one of these reviews uh, was the number one result uh, for um, 980 TIs on Google. Anyway, that's it for this outro. Thank you for watching. See ya.